in the yeah. fucking Manson family. Oh, that looks so weird. Big, massive, fat, lobby sticker, fat, lobby sticker. That's funny, that's no Australian way. culture. Evan, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> Do a little dance. Do a little dance. And then my account gets suspended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Skeptic and the Dude podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, episode 38 of The Skeptic and the Dude. Joel is not here, unfortunately, because he's... Doing bigger and better things. He is packing to move to the hills. He's a hippie and he's mm. moving to Belgrave. So instead, today on the show, we've got Billy Hamlet. How you doing, big fella? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me, guys. Uh, no worries, it's nice man. To be Pleasure. Back. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. What about no, you guys? You guys doing good? Yeah, yeah, pretty well. I mean, this is really all that keeps me entertained, I guess. Keeps me busy. Well, that's right. You know? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I've just been tossing up whether or not a shotgun's worth a buy. Just like mm, a shotgun. Mm. Yeah, uni is man. That is, is that is that allowed? Draining. Is is it the uni that's worse, or is it the fact that you've got to replace a three hundred dollar porcelain seat? <laughs> three hundred dollars. That's how much it cost. Yeah, to replace it. Oh, oh now, uni, Zane, poor bastard. Ha- how old is the toilet? Has it been there like since the house was built, or what's oh, what's kind of so the go there? That toilet, I think, when in when they did the original renovations to add the back half onto the church, right? I have no idea. So that was done before we before we stepped out. It even bought it, and he bought it back in twenty sixteen, I think. Yeah, okay, mm. yeah. So that's at least four years there. Mm. Yeah, but porcelain is like is like fragile as. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I so mean, it's I, kind I'm of lucky like, enough to have a plastic toilet. Yeah, well, same here. All my toilets are plastic, but I guess it's like that thing of it. it it's just maintenance. It just it happens. I mean, I'll, I've mm. got something here for you, Zane. At, at Aldi, it's a Reno ready porcelain <laughs> toilet for three hundred bucks. <laughs> all up includes Woo! includes um, installation. Really. Yeah, Ooh. you know, Jeez, so I, I reckon on, just had three-year warranty, so in case, you know, you Ooh. sit on it harder than your brother falls through the fucking thing, <laughs> you know, th- there's always that option, you know. There is. So I how guess I'm is making the a trip eBay to Aldi? going? Mm. Uh, we got our Head secondary bid on it. All right. Ooh. So uh, instead of someone bidding 150 bucks, someone's now bid 152 dollars and 50 cents. <gasps> oh, right. Really, now, uh, do really we th- taking it up there. That's right. Do we think that might have been a listener of the show? Could that have been a possibility? Listen to the one yesterday and thought, you know what? I'm in it. I want to get this porcelain seat because that was also the offer we were giving anyone who purchases. Zane's laptop will receive a piece a piece of the pie. Which, as we found out, is illegal. Illegal oh, to really? send out. So uh yeah, yeah. 'cause it, it's 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 sharp Shit. and it's broken. So yeah, it so you know. Could uh, you so the boil person it who, down? We could. Um but the person yeah. who made the bid who could possibly be a possibly be a podcast listener is Vlaketa 62. Oh, Vlaketa 62, okay. So Jeez. if that's your eBay name, please uh, let us know. Hmm, no, you be getting your porcelain that's it. Know what too. you're getting yourself into. Because I think what we'll decide is mm. if you're not a listener of the show, we probably won't give the porcelain seat. And even then, we probably won't give it anyway unless we can find a way to get around it. Unless yeah. you put it back together, of course, Zane. But then that's probably going to cost... It's, 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 a heavy, it's a heavy lid, isn't it? It's not light. Uh, when it's it? all together, it can probably have a bit of weight in it, but because it's in about yeah. thirty pieces at the moment, it's it's manageable. <laughs> it's a, well, it's worth Jeez. money because yeah, now it's all signed. You know. Yeah, we've had the donkey sign it uh, for all those viewers who didn't see the Tuesday episode. Uh, there's one more time oh, for the donkey signature. Oh, looking nice. Yep. Jeez. Uh, so. If it is someone who buys it, just before we ship out the seat, I'll be making a round trip to all the boys and we'll be signing out the uh, toilet seat for it to come to you. Hell yeah, man. That sounds that sounds great. Does it does it come with an ass print, though? That's my question. Look, oh, probably if, years of it. Years upon Billy, years. No, but like a proper. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, if you buy it, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. 
I'll paint me ass yeah. and I'll sit on the back of it so you have a nice indentation of me ass on it for you. Mm. All right. Okay, I think I think that's that's a that's a fair trade. I'll put it. I'll actually I'll take that one down, that poster. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll put some hooks and shit up there, and that's where we'll put the toilet seat. We'll mount the toilet seat. Yeah, and then we can you know when you guys come over, we'll be like, oh, what do you want to do? Hey, come look at the toilet seat for a bit. Um, <laughs> yep. You know, <laughs> we've got all the signatures, and there's a massive build a a nice oh, little yeah. shrine for it. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. with a little yeah. candle. That's Candles always give you a, and like, <laughs> yep. Jesus we'll up give the you top a couple of yeah. pieces from a Billy. church. That's right. A couple of pieces, Billy. We can get all the boys to sit on it with our asses. All right. I like that. I like that. As long as, yes. we, as, long as we don't cut our asses on it. I mean, they're, they're no. going to have blood <laughs> over I should, the I should do a... With that shrine, you know, have a bit of incense mm. and stuff so you can burn it in the morning. I might even do my meditation in front of it. Yeah, you know, could, do could some funky very shit therapeutic, like that. Yeah. yeah, very therapeutic. You know, <laughs> certainly. It's Pray to the skeptic and well to the dude. The... Exactly, man. That's right. Oh. That's what it is. It's going to be a, a, an official podcast shrine from Zane's church. The toilet With the, seat. You're going to make sure you get your chakras in line and all that shit. Yep. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Jeez. So how's uh, how's um, this new mask enforcement been for you, Billy? Since that came <clears> into um, effect in Melbourne. I um, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, I went, I went out the day before it was, uh, I think it was the Wednesday or the Thursday it locked in and you had to start okay, wearing yeah. the masks and, and you know, all that funky, it. you're not allowed in yeah. the store if you're not wearing one. Yeah. And I thought to myself, oh, well, you know, I'm going out to do my food shopping. So mm. why not wear it? Because the, a, a day isn't a difference between a virus, you know, it's like, you're still immune to it. Why not start wearing it mm. now if it's if it's going to be enforced already? So I, well, I went out, and I was um I was in, um I was walking into the shops, and uh, there was these young young girls, maybe about sixteen, fifteen, and they're like, oh god, yeah. oh, I'm not wearing a mask because some people were wearing masks around the area, and then I walked mm. by, and I, I have a black one, um, no reason. I just my my grandma makes masks, and she said, what's your favorite yeah. color? And I said, oh, guess. Um, so she did black. So got, got you a black one, um, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what gave the impression on these young girls of like, oh, well, I wouldn't mind wearing a black one, you know, because it's, the, mm. the, you get these weird color ones and you get the blue ones, of course, because they're surgical. Mm. Um, so there was that stigma out, out there before, before it locked in and, you know, you have to start wearing that mask. Mm. But now, you know, of course I have to wear a mask when I go to shops and that's really all I go out for at the moment yep um and and uh i I don't mind it um personally i'm a smoker so i can't be walking around having a can't say the word having a smoke in my word uh (laughs) in my mouth um sorry about that Um, having the old yeah yeah that's right yeah and uh You know, and it's frowned upon. So uh, mm. I find that hard. But other than that, I don't mind the breathing. I'm not really a mouth mm. breather. Um, and me too, I, 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 yeah. I, it's just another thing to add to uniform, really. You know, chuck that mm. on. Yeah, that's it. Um, and if it has to be done, it has to be done. I mean, it. You know, if it's gonna stop you from breathing yeah. on everyone, that's that's what we want. Most of all, you know, if it, if it no. stops this, uh, I don't know if it stops it. I don't, I don't watch too mm. much news, but um, if it helps, you know, yeah. um, why not do it? That's my opinion. Well, I think because I think what they were saying was if we have eighty percent of people wearing masks actively, where it, it it really the you know, it really is gonna go down. So hopefully yeah. more and more people follow it. But in the meantime, you know, we've got those Karens all carrying on. And that, that that one at Bunnings, I actually, when they were reporting on that, and then they showed a compilation of other Karens doing the same thing, I actually had to step back a bit and realize that they were all different people. I, I swear to God, I thought it was... It was it was the one person. It was the same girl, and she was doing oh. a bunch of these videos. Because they all looked identical. Blonde hair, middle-aged, fucking, you know... Entitled piece of mm, shit. So mm. I couldn't believe it, you know. And um, they all they all sound the same. There's a tone. There's a, there's a yeah. tone. 
and mm. it's all like, oh, you know, it's my right to not be wearing those masks. And I, and there's that one where she's um, you know, these these masks are futile, and she puts it in the bonfire, and it takes forever. Yeah, to burn yeah, yeah, because yeah. The masks are so good, and it's like. <laughs> Like, what are you doing, dude? That that was the woman who I thought, isn't that the same chick who was carrying on a bunny yeah. just the other day? This they all look the fucking same. I, I can't tell the difference. It, yeah. Oh, oh, they just oh. make total but, dicks of themselves. Going back to Billy's point, I did find a solution to your smoking problem. If you What's are... that? Now, when I, I opened I this, it. I thought it was a vagina, but it's a... Uh, no, nope. I've sent it to you too, Billy. So Brandon... Can... It's a zip, oh, so sure. you can unzip it to have your fag and zip it back up once you've had it. That's right. Oh, okay. I, I reckon you should put this on the screen so everyone knows what they're talking about. Yeah, we'll but put that it on. is very um. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at it right now, and um, uh, to me that looks kinky. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't know about you guys. A little bit but naughty. That looks like a yeah. little bit naughty, a little bit saucy. Um, but that is very <laughs> smart. I do like all, that. All um, it needs to be is leather, so that's a, you know giving them bondage ooh, yeah. kind of vibes. You know, yeah, that's right. Billy's into that. Something, but... something across across the the mouth that says like a provocative word or something along the lines of yeah, that, exactly. You know, throw them off their rhythm. Ooh. Um, okay, is that on eBay or is that on any uh, uh, online service where you can go and buy it? Yeah, or has someone made deal. that? Yeah. Oh, imagine making that. Imagine going, what are you doing today, um, Charlene? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm oh, making I'm spli- a... I'm uh... <laughs> splitting a fucking hole in my mask so I can unzip I'm it. I'm putting a zip in my mask uh, <laughs> so my grandson can smoke. Uh, you know, yeah. what shit. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. You know? Yeah. So, so is there any uh, websites, Zane? I'm looking for it now. I bet, I bet you there's not. I bet you. I bet you it's a one in a kind mm. creation, and that's it. Uh, and it belongs to that statue. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good-looking statue, also. Like, you know, no, statues found, nowadays. Uh, found. found him, Billy. It, Etsy. Yep. It, oh, Etsy. I don't know if I trust Etsy, mate. Etsy. How, how much for? Uh, well, what's our price what's... range on this, you know? I'm looking to invest. Mm. Uh, there, there must be a stock market. <laughs> <laughs> I found one here for fourteen sixteen dollars, fourteen sixty one, mm. so fifteen bucks. Mm. Okay, bad. shipping, shipping. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Twenty bucks. Yeah, that's good. Fifty dollar shipping, mate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whoa, fuck! You're not going to charge me like thirty bucks shipping, are you, prick? They are. They are. I knew it. I knew it. They'll do it. And they are. So the <laughs> whoop, applying coupons. Let's see what we got here. Where's it coming I don't, from? I... Who the fuck knows? Uh, fuck. Well, the that's best what price... we want to find out. I look. It says it's one day delivery. <laughs> price is thirty eight fifty five for a mask with a zipper in it. Okay. Mate, I. Yeah. I'd... Give me, give me the COVID <laughs> instead, please. Yeah, I'd rather that <laughs> kidding, spend kidding. that much money. No, Billy, what, what, what you could do is um, have your grandma, you know, cut cut the hole in the middle, like 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 the slit mm. all the way down, and then yeah. put like you, you use some um, uh, some Velcro or something, you know, and then patch it up. So then that way you have a smoke, you just pull it open, Ooh. just stick the cigarette in there. You know, then when you're done, you just, whoop, you know, just go that back so over smart. like that. That could work. Whoop. It's not a bad idea. Oh, that I found is... a better solution. Oh, yeah. what is it? It's just straight up by a gimp mask. I yeah, think, I think yeah, they got should, the zips uh, that go yeah. around. <laughs> actually, actually, they're better, though, because then that way you can fit the cigarette wherever you want in your mouth. The slit just gets the top, you know. Well, I can... usually, you know, I have it about here on a 45 degree Yeah, some on the side. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, um... Thank Makes you, Zane. Sense. I think we, uh, uh, well, personally, I will invest in the gimp mask uh, stocks. Um, yep. I think there's there's a lot of buyers nowadays, especially all the smokers. And um, oh, yeah. I think I think I think this is just a great plan altogether. It's a good starting point. So Billy's it's getting starting. a gimp mask. Billy's, Billy's getting, getting a gimp mask. Order it for him now. <laughs> 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 oh God. Oh man. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, all right. What about yourself? What, what what have you guys been doing? What is your 
what is it quarantine thing? Like everyone's it's got their quarantine thing. schedule. The, yeah, they're, they're mm. fixating one. You know, personally, um, uh, I wake up, I would do a bit of work, but um, I've been jamming out every day, pl- playing a bit of guitar. You know, doing everything, watching movies. What have you guys been doing? Yeah. Pretty much that, except the jamming on the guitar. No, you don't jam on the guitar? <laughs> nah. Actually, well, no. Big Mal's trying to get, get some strings together to attach to these acoustic guitars we go off the neighbours, and then we might muck oh, around yes. on those. But um, aside from that, yeah, just just reading that book on Charles Manson, I finally finished yesterday, by the way. And oh, yep. I think, it, I don't know, it, it would it'd be a disservice to it to say that it asks more, it leaves more questions than it does answers because it's it's a lot more than that. I think it's kind of a thing of like, we won't definitely know, and that's probably okay because it's it's such a difficult thing to grasp and try and prove. Mm. But at the same time, it's there's just so many interpretations of it, and everyone everyone's an expert on on, on the case, you know. So it's it's interesting. It just, but I think the book's really good though at showing you those plot holes, especially in the investigations and. You know, and 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 the corruption of the uh, of the court system and that, and and just kind of how how the how the CIA and how really how America, the good guys would you know, there was a, a a lot of sketchy shit going on, cover ups and that to make them not look like they were fucking each other over, but you know, mm. but yeah, certainly I mean, certainly worth like the read. A, uh... Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. It looks like a very interesting read. Thick. Very, mm. very big book. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, decent great. size. Because mm. yeah, the, for... the, the thing that the writer, Tom O'Neill, was worried about was the fact that who's going to want to publish a book where my thesis is basically that, all right, uh, here's, you know, what this is what we think we know about the Manson case and everything, the Tate-LaBianca murders, but um, tie that in with the CIA and uh, Manchurian candidate shit that was being used on Manson. Whoa, okay, now we're getting into heavy conspiracies. But the thing about it, though, makes it seem so likely. You know, it's mm. it's it's really interesting how, how it ties it all together. And and it's incredibly written. It feels like, you know, I'm reading Raymond Chandler or something. Like, it really feels like it's, it's written out so well in this first-person yep. format. So you kind of understand how much fucking time this guy has devoted just to trying to find out information and try and access these confidential files and that and just talk Jeez. to people who aren't going to just lie to him, you know, or claim that they're telling the truth, but really they're trying to save themselves. But, yeah. Wow. It seems very you interesting. Know. Like, I, I've, you mm. know, I've noticed that you've spent a lot of time reading it, which is great. Yeah. Um, I guess that's what you've got to do in this, this dark, dark times. What about that's you, Zane? It, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been doing the same thing most uni kids are doing. So I've been going to uni on the days I have that. Um, yep. Fuck all on the other days, knocking out assignments when they're due. Uh, and then I decided I think I'm going to try and go a quarantine mustache. Oh, okay. yes. Let yes. it grow for quarantine and see what happens. Quarantine mustache. Nice. Yeah. Um, have you, well, have you tried it that's... before? Have you tried growing it I before? haven't. What, what? Uh, no. This is... The current growth is kind of unseeable. It's... Yeah. Uh, if I sit in the right spot, you can see, like, the little dark patch above the lip. But, uh... Okay, yeah. We're just going to let that you, grow and see what happens. Do you oh, shave yeah, frequently? Like, do you shave every couple of days or every week or... Uh, because I'm lazy as fuck, it's weekly. But Ooh. if I live for a week, I get a bit of facial hair. Gee, you lucky it's, bastard, though, yeah. like, because I shave every day. Yeah. Like, I'm just and, lazy. And, That's the yeah. only reason I don't shave most days. Oh, God. I wish I could be it's lazy fair enough. like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. No, it just it grows so quick, and, uh, like, there's not much at the moment because I shaved the other day all of it off. Um, I don't know why. I was just like, oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I went to the bank, and I was like... Oh, shave it all off because I don't want to walk in looking like a mad hippie going, eh, give me yeah. some money, man. You know? Give us um, the cash, bro. So, give us the cash, man. Oh, I just you need know. the cash, yeah. man. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll be a little bit presentable. Mm. Um, uh, so, but yeah, like, I mean, for me, it grows back so quick. I think yeah. because I've been shaving, well, at least every couple of days since I was like 16. Yeah. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm 20 now and this is like, mm-hmm. I can grow like this and this is a couple of days, like three days, um, growth. Um, mm. I don't mind it. Um, what about you, Brandon? You, you shave every week, shave every day. What are we talking? Well, look, I, I, I don't really grow much facial hair. I kind of get it all patchy and that kind of a bit here, a bit there. Got like a little <laughs> bit just there. Oh, sorry. I can't use the word. Got a little, a little strange, a little interesting bit just there and, and and then a little bit here on the side it's just trying to i think i think i'm still i'm still it's still trying to break through but no i don't mm. i don't really shave it that much because then i shave it and that... then all of a sudden i get more patches you know mm. yeah, well you get that chin thing that the little chin whiskers that, that, that mm. look very yeah nice, yeah shaggy you know? shaggy yeah yeah mm. yeah that's yeah, it because i mean like Damn. i mean <laughs> joel gets the mustache which is a lovely mustache mm. Yeah. And and you get the little little bum fluff on the chin. Yeah. So you put yeah, two and two it. together, you know, you get this 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 great behemoth of Yeah, and and, and because my hair's quite blonde, <laughs> the any facial hair I get is generally blonde with little bits yeah. of dark brown in it, so you don't really see much of it anyway because I can feel it all around my face, I can feel it now, but you can't see fucking shit because it's so light, you know. It's like 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 even even like the hair on my arms and that you know it's it's just very fine. Well, I mean I don't know if you can see I like I don't have a lot of arm hair mm. or anything, and I wear a lot of pants, so my leg yeah. hair only grows to a degree. Um, yeah. But I, I make up for it on the old chin here. So um, I guess I guess um, that could lead us into our first uh, topic of today, um, which was that little. Little segment I made up, if you don't mind oh, me segment. taking the yep. reins on this one. Go for it, yep. man. Uh, Take it away, This is a segment I made up on the way home today from work, and um, right. it's called Yes or No with Billy. Um, we don't have a song for it, because fuck that shit. Um, anyway, I've just come pilot. up with a few things, especially especially during quarantine. You do a few things that you yep. go, am I the only one doing this, or is it, you know, am I the only one seeing this, or is it just regular i don't know like what is this yes or no so what that's I'm gonna up do... to you yeah that's up to you um so i'm gonna ask you guys uh a series of questions and you can reply no. yes or no and then if it's no if it's yes let's talk about it you know too easy man okay okay so uh let's start it off okay first one is heating coffee up in the microwave after it's gone cold so you've had a coffee, and it's gone cold. What do you do? Do you heat it up or do you throw it out? I throw it out, make a new one. Yep. So it's or a no. You just, it's a no. Or you just grow a pair and finish the fucking coffee. That's oh, it. It's cold, then, man. Then, it's not even an yeah, iced coffee. It, yeah, but it technically is. It's just a, it's a room temperature coffee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Isn't yuck. that nice? Yeah. You just see, so, so I. I used to chuck it in the microwave. I used to. I don't anymore because I finish it. Um, but you know, I used to be like, yeah, chuck it in the microwave. But you know what that does? It ta- it changes the taste. If you yeah, want to heat it up, sitting there. if you want to heat it up, you yeah. just add more hot water. Well, I didn't think of that, did I? Was I? <laughs> well, fucking oh, you just... bit of brain. Well, well I don't have one of those. Out and start <laughs> again, man. Back to square one. That's <laughs> well, easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so I think it's an overall. I'm a bit on the fence with that one, but I will go no because I don't do it anymore. Uh, it's, a, it's a no for that one. Okay. Um, binging Netflix shows front to back. So we're talking from episode one to, I think they go to about episode 10 to 12. They're roughly about, let's say 30 to a 40 minute range. Mm-hmm. Um, nowadays they go for about an hour. Is that a yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Depending how I'm mean? feeling. I would, I wouldn't mm. say no. I mean... Would you sit... Because cause roughly, that would not last maybe about six hours. Would you sit there well, and just watch well, look, it for the, six hours? The question they're basically mm. asking, binge or no binge, you know? Mm. If you're up to well, it. that's right. Go yeah. for it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a, sit- a sitcom would kind of be a bit repetitive. Um, mm. But if it's a pro- progressive mm. drama series, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like a full-on show, yeah. What about you, Zane? Mm. You think Yes. I say yes. It's like it depends on what it is, but for the most part, it's a yes. Okay. Right. It's like yeah, I think so. Same thing as watching, like, say, all the Friday the Thirteenth movies in a row. It's the exact same thing, only different. Well, yeah, that's right. And how many people do I, that? Um... Or binge all the Harry Potters or Lord of the Rings? Mm. Same mm. principle at the end of it. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, you're not wrong there. I didn't even think of that. You're a smart man, Zane. Smart man. Yeah, okay, I, um... I, 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 I binged the Friday the 13th movies when I had the flu. That was good fun. Productive use of time, you know? Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, like, I, I binged uh, all the, the Rob, Zoli, uh, Rob Zombies trilogy the other day from, that's like, right. uh, House of a Thousand Corpses to, um, to three... The Devil's Rejects to Three from Hell. And that, yep. all together, like, back to front, I didn't stop. Um, was about six hours because the last one's long because it ends off the series, um, and I I didn't get bored because they're all completely different movies. Mm. So yeah, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, um, next one is I think we've already touched on this one a little bit, but quarantine facial hair, yes or no? Yeah, as long I mean, who gives a shit? It's a time. It's a time mm. to do anything, man. Do what you like. Well, that's grow right. that. Do grow that want. mustache out, Zane. Yeah, that's right. I reckon I, I, I can't. I, we need weekly uh, uh, updates on this mustache thing. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay, um, man. okay, so yeah, so yes for that one. Um, now this one um, is a little bit of a double-ended sword. Um, it can be one thing or another. So it's either uh, German death metal slash uh, South African techno rap. Yes or no? Hang on. I... What was the? Hang on. What was it again? What? What? What are you asking? Well, is it a yes or no? Is it here to stay or is it here to go? Is it German, like German death metal slash? Because it can go in the same fucking category. Um, right. South African techno rap. Oh, okay. I was thinking I'd prefer if that was like a would you rather question, but yeah, fucking no. Straight up, no. no. Go fuck yourself, no. no. Why, is, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> I don't want to listen to that shit. Either way, fuck off. <laughs> Zane, is it, is it here to stay or is it here to go? I haven't heard either of them, so I'm going to say... Uh, it's well. gonna if, if it can't reach a mass market, mm. then it's got to go. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I might. German death metal, I like one band. But it's from, like, the 90s, so it's okay. Uh, other than that, it's hit, it's it's got to go. It's got to go. It's a, it's a no from us. Okay. Nice. Uh, and the last one uh, is I, I think this is a biggie w- one for um, especially our generation. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, a lot of people are making either your pet or your car uh, an independent Instagram. Uh, yes or no? Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Zane. No thanks. No, not not for me. Pets, it's a no thanks, but cars, I can get around. No, I'm talking, when I mean cars, like, pets, pets fucking no. And with the pet ones, like, they they make them have a voice, like, oh, you know, my dad loved me so much, he took me for a walk. Mm. Like, yeah, no, off, that mate. can fuck off. Yeah, yeah, they can get fucked, fuck but I think when it, the... when, it, when it comes to cars, you've got, a lot of the times, it's some middle-aged guy who... It's not necessarily it's a it's an Instagram page devoted to the car. That's just all he posts. It just happens to be mm. it's his it's his profile, but this is just all he posts. And that yeah, who gives a shit, man? Yeah. But, well, see, yeah. see the thing is nowadays, um, especially with uh, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people I went to school with, now they're posting like they get their shitty fucking Commodores and they add all this mm. suspension and their fucking tires and the neon bullshit to it, and they make a car Instagram. And it's like, yep. just go on for a drive. And it's like, no okay. shit, you just went for a drive. It's a car. Yep. You know? And then after two weeks, you'll see an update. It'll be like, wrapped it around the tree. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. off. Oh, you know? Well, uh, one was, oh, took it to Phillip Island with the boys. And it was like, their other cars. And I thought this guy's car was shit. Then I looked at, like, the dude driving the fucking Ford Focus 2006 model. And I was like... God, you're making these cars look fucking He's doing good. Right. Yeah, <laughs> um, no. Nah. Project cars are a different thing. So if people are buying like MR2s and um, yeah, vintage, like vintage, vintage shit, like you know, like a, vi- a vi- vintage Camaro or something, or like or, a um, combi van, van or something, or people oh, who yeah. are even converting now like Mercedes van Sprinters into like livable homes. Mm. They're okay, but yeah. these fuckwits who are like, oh yeah, I chucked a right. three foot. Uh, Three-inch suspension lift, forty-eight-inch mm. tires, and an angle kit on my twenty sixteen Holden Commodore. Yeah. Mm. Fucking, no, there's the door. Can't it. delete like, your yeah. account. And like, and and the funny thing is, half of these people who have these car accounts, um, they buy parts 
for their cars that because they're on their their P's, their red P's, they can't drive. Mm. So mm. so the car just yeah. sits there, or the parts just sit there, and they've spent I don't know eight grand on it, All and they can't drive it. it. Yeah, 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 that's right. So you know, if you're gonna have, oh, don't have a fucking car account, but if you're gonna have a car account, make sure you can drive the fucking car. <laughs> like that's all I ask. Um, should I okay, should, should well, I make I think... a should I make a car account for our HSU that's at the panel beaters at the moment? Once it yeah. comes out, oh, see that's you know, fine. That's, that's, that's a car account. You know, in that shit. All the yeah. trans down account. the front. That's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'd a car account. I'd be doing account. that. But when it's the same but fucking I... Commodore, what's the point, man? Yeah. And especially when they don't add stuff to it, and it's just, mm. oh, I'm in Phillip Island. Oh, it's night time. You know. Hmm. Mate, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, I think uh, I think it was all of a, a no from us, uh, depending on the situation. But it's a good, good uh, way to talk about it. But yeah, that's the yes or no segment. Just you oh. know, unpopular opinions. Thanks for that, Billy. I got uh, one more decent. for you, Billy. You got yeah. You got one more. Tell me. Blokes watching chick flicks. Yes or no? Oh, here we go. And this is where it kind of twists because it mm. depends on the situation. If you're trying to get laid. All right. Yes, because you know, you, 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 it just it's up from there. You know, start shit, and mm. then oh, what's this? You're getting laid. Happy days. If you're just sitting down watching fucking Bridget Jones' Diary by yourself on a Saturday night, mate, what are you doing? Mm. I guess yeah. It depends. I think it depends on the chick flick, you know, and and what mm. and what are you getting out of it? <laughs> I mm. guess. But or like if you watch mm. it with your family, like uh. I wouldn't class Mamma Mia as a chick flick because it's a musical. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm talking yeah, that's like a good, the that's notebook. a good family movie or something, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm talking like you're kissing boots, yeah, I feel pretty. Oh, no, 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 that's a no, yeah. for, it's a no from me, mate. Yep. I, I think it's uh, a unanimous no. I'm not locking that no, one in. Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. No thanks, well, Eddie McGuire. Brain? Do you have one? Do you have one? Um, let's see, uh... All right, in the house. Um, pants off in the house. Yes, pants like off just, in the house. just, 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 just not wearing pants. Just walking around the jocks, just jocks in it. Oh, all just day. the jocks. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. I can just yeah. the jocks yeah. it. Mm. Yeah, just jocks it. I mean, I live alone. I mean, so, that was a pretty easy one. You know, yeah. I, I, I live. Na- <laughs> yeah, I'm naked half the time. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, that's just life, man. Um, oh, I it I, I come upstairs every morning and Big Mel's walking around in these jocks. There's no, you know, you know, they put mm, pants mm. on if it's absolutely necessary, you know, if the occasion yeah. calls for it, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. No, I think uh, I think it's a yes, yes from us uh, with, the, with the with the jocks. I think I I don't care if you're with your family or you're by yourself. You were born naked, man. Uh, chuck right. some clothes on, but not all the way. No. It does get a bit. There is a point where it's like a. I actually have to put clothes on though with the jocks. Yeah. In. You can, like if you're going to go have a three hour conversation with a sibling, mm. maybe chuck oh, a t shirt on. Yeah. Chuck a t shirt on. dick up, mate. Like really, <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 Or if you've got people coming over to the house who are like, if they're like family but they don't live with you, chuck a t shirt and maybe a pair yeah. of shorts on. Like put yeah. in that tiniest bit of effort. That's to, right. That's to be that. Yeah. To smudge the but buggy. See, I, I like, though, at, at the moment, <laughs> they're fine with you just showing up anywhere you want in Ugg boots and your pyjamas, just as long as you're wearing a fucking mm. mask. As long as you're wearing a mask and you're appropriate, that's, mm. I guess that's all we can ask of mm. people. It's like, yeah. I'm one of those people, I've got an Udi. Oh, yeah. What's an Udi? Uh, give me a second, Billy, I'll show you, because you might want to purchase yourself one of these. Wait, all right. Madison, Madison, I'm fucking Madison, interested. are you there? What the I fuck said, my, is an my, my, Udi? An Udi. You know those ads that come up? They're like this big, stupid, fluffy jumper. My sister's got one. She. No, no, I've never seen them. I think I'm out of the loop on this one, boys. Jeez, an, an Udi. An Udi. What the fuck? What, what, what is this, Zane? What the fuck, Zane? <laughs> oh, my God. Now, can I ask, did your girlfriend get that for you, or was that an independent purchase? Uh, that was, uh, you can figure that one out pretty easily, Billy. Oh, God. Are you watching fucking Bridget Do- Chone's diary? No, I watched, <laughs> the reason I bought up the, uh, thing on, uh, hey, can you come downstairs for uh, a chick flicks and rom-coms yeah. 
is this I weekend I watched uh, the first and second kissing okay. booth with her. So that's where I brought up the whole conversation about it. But Billy, this is a fucking blanket. It, it's a blanket. It really blanket. is. I am warm as fuck. It's like a weighted blanket. <laughs> Yeah, so, like I'm sick. I'm sick of paying for my fucking heating. So that kind of looks like a good idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, oversized. They're a hundred bucks for one, or if you buy it with a mate, sixty nine bucks for two. They have plain oh. ones. Yeah, sure like black. Do they have black? Oh. They don't. They have like a navy, like a dark <sighs> navy. Is my sister's oh, one? Fuck. It's a pink, a pink hoodie. Too. You know? Yeah. Oh, gee. there you go. Fucking. Uh, and I'm but out. is but it really warm? <laughs> is it really warm? It is. So, but you still need the heater on, though. Is that what you say you find, or you don't really? What? Do you need the heater on when you've got that on, or not so much? Mm. Not really. That's good. Mm. So there you go, Billy. Mm. Invest. Invest into the Udis. Right. Uh, we're totally not sponsored by them. <laughs> totally not sponsored Thanks, by Madison. Udis, but I think, I think I, that that two for sixty deal sounds pretty decent. Yeah, it's sixty nine bucks each if you go in with a mate and get one each. Oh yeah, and that's just okay. from an online store or yeah. Okay, I think uh, I think you think that should be a some. I should I should sit on that one for a couple of days and see what happens because uh, yeah. I don't want to get what you've got fucking koala bears on your. Yeah. Phone. <laughs> you know, do you that, want a lovely a pink bit... one like my sister's got? Uh, that's pushing it for me, mate. Um, mm. Wouldn't mind a black one, but apparently they don't have black from uh... what Zane's told me. They have color wise a- for your single colors. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. They have it in like a wireless. dark navy blue and a gray. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. gray would be fine. It's yeah. not bad. Yeah, just, get on top of oh, it, man. Get... Oh, I might, I might have to have a look. I might, mm. Actually, I might see if they do custom hoodies, mate. Uh, you mm. know, but I am sweating my balls off, so it's coming off. We're enough. That's coming <laughs> off. Okay, take it off, Zane. Take it off. Oh, uh, all right. It's a stripper. Oh, huh, interesting. Jeez. Nice. Now, um, now, Billy, I've been meaning to talk about this on the podcast, but because Joel hadn't really seen, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to talk about it with Billy. Now, you and I watched uh, Judd Apatow's latest film, The King of Staten Island, which was streaming only online. You and I managed mm. to get our hands on, and we checked it out. Thought we. would mm. Talk a little bit about that. What do you think of that movie overall? I um, I mean, you you know, well, for, if for background context, um, it's got Pete Davidson in it. He plays mm. the the lead character, and it's practically it's like what Russell Brand does, where he he plays himself with a top hat on. Mm. Um, yeah. It's similar to that because it's all it's kind of like a little bit biographical and, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I um, you know, we were we were hanging out for this movie for oh god, good year, you know. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we knew about, about it a while ago. We thought, Wait. Oh, sweet, this will come out. Time mm. out for a second. Pete Davidson's that bloke who dated Ariana Grande, who apparently has a yeah. massive schlong, right? Yes, According yes, to her, uh, because she's small and the regular penis would be really yeah, big. Because her, her hands right, are tiny. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, but I, 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 you know, I, it was worth the wait. Um, mm. I thought, I thought. Is it, I I love his comedy. I love his mm. comedy because it's so raw and like it's really yeah. out there. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a funny guy. Now, yeah, but yeah, and and because gotta... this film, it's such a like I don't know, it, it's such a genuine film that's really like although it, it, at the end of the day it is a fictional film, but it's so it's so much based on him and his life. You know, kind of that. Uh, as you know, because of course in real life he he lost his dad who was fighting, uh, it was a firefighter and died on September 11, and, and kind of just how that's affected him and how his mother's moved on and everything and then trying to yeah. function in 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 this society you know and I thought because I remember I was watching this interview with Judd Apatow the director and he was saying how he was worried because either the film could be a because he, he didn't want to like you know, upset him in any way. He thought, okay, it's quite a sensitive topic that we're, you know, mm. addressing in this film. And so I don't, you know, I'd like to do the best we can. So, you know, one way is it does really well and we've, you know, depicted it well. It's great. It's gone in memory of his father, Scott. But the other downside is it's a total flop and it's just made a mockery of the whole thing, you know. But, mm. and oh, even though it's, um, it, you know, of course, 
didn't come out at the movies, I don't think, at all. It's well, it's, it's it been was, available. Uh, limited screening, was it? Yeah, limited screening, yeah. like what they do over here if you do an Australian film. They do the limited screening at the regular theatres, like uh, the yeah, one in okay. the city and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And I think that what they did is they did, like, independent states like that. Like, I think it was Philadelphia mm. or something. Like, I'm not yeah. you know, an American yeah. states enthusiast, but I just saw a, a poster about it. Um, and then, of course, it was on Amazon Prime. I think that was what they, they were mainly right, focusing on. Right, that was the main, the main service, um, yeah. Because it wasn't on Netflix or anything, which I'm, you know, mm. Judd Apatow, his his films are just coming onto Netflix now, um, mm. yeah, like recently, and they're ones from like ten years ago. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if this one comes out maybe in a year's time on Netflix, mm. um, depending. But um, I thought I I thought it was a great movie. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. And I, I love I, um, the um, the fact that they, that they, I mean, they even had Steve Buscemi in it, who is a yeah. firefighter in real life, and he, he pretty much you know was playing himself as a, as, as a fireman in it, and, and and of course Bill Burr as the as the step daddy, you know, coming into the picture was also a firefighter. He was fucking step hilarious. Daddy Bill. Yeah, that's it with the oh. with the bald head and the and the nice little red the mustache. mustache. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did look like um, he, he should be. You know, you know when he knocks on the door and he opens and there's the door that opens and he's there with his son, uh, yeah. and he's got the mustache. It's like it's like when you move to a new town and you're a sex offender previously and you have to knock on the door to say hi, I'm a sex offender. <laughs> he, he introduced um, himself to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it was like year, that. Yeah. Um, but he did a great um, you know, to a, portray a stepdad. Like you can portray a, a dad in any way possible, but to mm. portray a stepdad who is distant but not distant, and I think yeah. I think I love the and way already that Bill already Burr... has his own problems, you know, in his mm. own life and everything. Yeah, yeah. I think I, he's he's good I, at he's good at playing those characters, especially like in in F is for Family as like a like a miserable fucking dad from the seventies, you know, dad. like he's yeah. he, he's good at channeling that, you know. I think that's because he's really good at ranting and and channeling mm. anger. He's kind of like. You know, l- l- like the Boston Jack Nicholson. You know, like <laughs> some. Of the oh yeah, he does. yeah, definitely. I, I think you know. I think it's the fact that um, you know, you get a bunch of comedians in a movie. Um, mm. Improv isn't hard because it's you know it's like musicians. Yeah, it's you know, kind you pick of up sec- an instrument and you yeah. can just play. Um, mm. So so I think that's what made it really really good. Um, I you know I thought Pete Davidson did a great job. I think I thought. Yeah. Um, Bill Bird, Bill Burr did, and um, the woman who played the mom, who was from Spider Man. Oh yeah, Marissa Tomei. Yeah, Marissa Tomei. Oh god, yeah. she is beautiful. Jeez, um, <laughs> man. She's still uh, not. She right. did a great job being the mom. <laughs> yeah, like and yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great cast, really great cast. Mm. Yeah, it was a really touching film, and 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 I really hope that it, you know, that it. I mean, I haven't haven't really heard much of the reviews or or what what Pete's family and that thought of it, but I I I you know for the most part I'd imagine that yeah they I think they would have really enjoyed it. It was yeah it was a touching uh, film. The mm. King of Staten Island has a seventy three percent on what Rotten Tomatoes. Oh wow, sixty seven percent on Metacritic and seven point mm. two out of ten on IMBD. Oh, that's because I think it, it's a it's a decent yeah yeah so de- decently rated, but at the same time though. They, they, you know, of course, did have the issue that, you know, it could, it couldn't have been as big of a box office hit as it could have been had, had, yeah. had all this mm. shit going. On. So, so I don't know that they, they might, they might re-release it a bit later, yeah. possibly. But, uh, you know, which would make sense. The audience score for it is eighty-six percent. Is the audience yeah, score okay. on okay. Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. That, I think that's mm. that's fucking fantastic. Decently, um, decently. Received, another yeah. another movie that I think we could touch on a little bit. I don't know if you guys have seen and um, Zane, if you could pull this up, it's the um, Seth Rogen pickle movie. So Seth Rogen pickle? plays himself yeah. in like the eighteen hundreds, sixteen hundreds, or something um, right. roughly. I think it's eighteen hundreds, and he falls into this pickle vat and gets pickled for about a hundred to two hundred years. An and American pickle. Up, the American pickle, that's the one, and American then wakes pickle? up yeah. and he's like, "What do I do?" And he and he tracks down his great, I think it's great great grandson or great grandson, who's Seth Rogen, um, yep. and 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 they try and start up a business or something. But it's uh. it's it's great. It looks. Yeah. I saw the trailer. It looks um very interesting. 
Um, That's have you heard of the it? the trailer. I can't share screen, but you can, Brandon, if you want oh, to yeah. chuck it in. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it up. Mm. I've personally seen the trailer, and I saw an article before they did all the trailers and stuff, and I thought, oh, what the fuck? This is a stupid fucking idea. And then I looked at the trailer, and I was like, this is fucking funny. This is good. Uh, yeah, so... Have a crack, see what you think. But, um, yeah, I just thought... Jeez, yeah, that's just fucking... Oh, it, it, it's interesting. I think, um... In times like this, the, this is the co- type of comedy we need right now. Yeah, uh, right. An American Pickle, 2020, so it's coming out this year. I think it's going to come out quicker because of the virus. Um... Yeah. Is this? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I know that week. Eastern Europe, huh? nineteen nineteen. This is it. Yeah, this is it. I can't get any sound on, unfortunately. But okay. Ah, uh, you've you, muted it. You've got it muted, mate. <sighs> yeah, no, I can't. I can't play it to you guys. It, it won't. It won't work. It only plays on my end. Ah, uh, oh, that's fine. See, it's like he's just like grown out his beard and he's just been like yeah, wow. quarantine Seth Rogen. Falls in the fucking pickles. And then. Falls in there, yeah. You know, what is it? Yeah. 100 years later, there you go. And he's like, hey Whoa. man, I'm Pickle Dude. I'm Pickle Rick. <laughs> and he doesn't he's love like, pickle oh, Rick. What, do I, what do I do now? I'm the Pickle Dude. And then he tracks down like some fucking dude. Yeah, right. Yeah, see? Oh! What, is it, yeah. So that, that's like, so he's great, great grandson or something. Yeah, yeah. It'd be wow. great grandson, surely. Um, he's, okay. I think, a struggling yeah. musician or actor or writer. Yeah. So um, this is an HBO film, so, so it's an independent film that's coming yeah. out on Max. Yeah, okay. Be worth a watch. That's no, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, so I just thought, uh, you know, this would be interesting. You know, all these movies coming out this year that are that are being uh, pushed forward because of the virus uh, gives mm. us something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly, man. And I think that's what we need right now is things to look forward to when when things start going back to normal. And that's all we mm, can yeah. really ask for at the moment. You know. Yeah, most definitely. But yeah, I just thought uh, that that was just interesting. I just I saw the trailer a couple of weeks ago. I think it was, and okay. I just thought, oh, yeah. gee, that's. You know, it's it's different. Mm. Uh, I mean, you yeah, know, yeah, Seth Rogen interesting did, concept. Yeah, yeah, you know, he did Sausage Party or whatever it's called, uh, yeah, and that was ago. Yep. fucked up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah that's fucked a up, fucked man. movie. Yeah. yeah, it's fucked. But Fully. um, yeah. So I Proper thought, oh, geez, can't can't wait for that one. Really. No, thanks for that, Billy. No, that's now um nice. now Zane uh, I think it was two years ago, in. Year 11 psychology class, you were showing me a scene from this movie, and I finally watched it last night. Any oh, idea what that well, might have been? You recommended it. Uh, scent of a Woman. Oh, yes, with Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah, and Chris O'Donnell. Yes, yeah, I finally yep. sat down and watched that last night. Yeah, really good. I was, you know, like, I, I, knew, I knew it was... Yeah, because didn't Al Pacino won Best Actor for that, didn't he? Oh, wow. I think I think that was possibly that was it, but yeah. No, it was really, Al really brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Gee whiz. So he play Have he, he plays like this uh, this blind, angry old man who served in the war, and uh, this kid Chris O'Donnell goes to this mm. prep school, and and he there's like an ad in the you know like oh you know if you're not doing anything this Thanksgiving you know babysit my father and so he goes okay so he does that and at the start he's a real asshole to him and that and then eventually they get a bit closer and he actually takes him on a trip to new york and then does a bunch mm. of shit and then he tells him that i want to do all this stuff and then i'm gonna blow my fucking brains out and then he's is that oh, is that where he, he has serious? that is that that movie with the big monologue where al pacino is blind and he does that big monologue yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In yeah. the in, in the in the basic courtroom kind of stuff. I think yeah. I think yeah. I've I've seen Hoo-ha! It, um yeah yeah that one <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, someone uh, uh, in in my school in acting class did the monologue for it. Oh really? Like yeah, a, okay. a, when I was in uh, I was doing a bit of it was VCE theater studies or something. 
Yeah, right. Um, but then they they stopped it, but we did like one monologue, and that's what he picked. And I was like, gee, it's interesting yeah, wow. playing a blind guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm pretty yeah, sure it was a great a great performance. I'm pretty sure Al Pacino either glued his eyes shut or had some some sort of way to keep his eyes shut the whole time filming. I saw a, I saw a thing about that. Um, okay, no, his eyes are open the entire movie. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're or just he, or, or not he focusing had, on anything. Do you, you have contacts in it, or is it... I'm probably um, thinking of the Ray, Ray Charles one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I think his eyes were fine. He just... It, like it, it's interesting though, try, trying to see, you know, realizing he's blind and seeing how he's because it, it's because I think when 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 you're playing a blind character and you've got your eyes open, I think the matter is just not focusing onto anything to make it up. Because there's, there's a fucking scene where he's driving a Ferrari down the street, and and he's like, yeah. "All right, tell me when to turn left." <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's fucking yeah, hysterical. But, um, I it must not be that movie. I'm probably thinking of something else, but I know for a fact it, it uh, could 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 Ray be the Ray Charles one. Yeah, the Ray Charles mm. biopic. He glues his eyes shut, um, especially yeah, okay, in the well. scenes where they they water. Um, it's actually mm. just liquidized glue. Um, right. Who who played Ray Charles in that? Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. Okay. It's on Netflix at the moment. I, uh, I okay. It. I'll check I, it out. A couple months ago. It's great. It goes for ages. I think yeah. it's about three hours. Okay. Yeah. Um. You know, from the ages of, of like, they have flashback scenes from the ages of, like, you know, five to, mm. to, of course, not to his death, just up until, like, 1980, I think it is. Yeah, right. I think. Uh, but is yeah, it Ray? So, Ray, yes, Ray. Yep, it's time to Ray. When was that made? 2004. Yeah. I don't okay. That's not bad. Yeah, worth a watch. Worth a watch. Mm. Hell yeah, man. You seen anything interesting, Zane? Watching anything at the mm. moment? The only thing I'm watching, and it's going to be a shock to a lot of people considering how much of a fan uh, Old Mate Joel is, is I've started watching the Harry Potter movies. That's oh. right, the first four. So Are you game enough to... Four. First four? Are you game enough to go any further? Yep, <sighs> so I'm watching fifth one tonight. Okay. Um, so the whole reason behind this was I made a deal with the better half. Um, if she watched all the Fast and Furious movies, <laughs> I'd watch Sorry. all the Harry Potters. All the Harry Potters. Yeah, that is a good yeah, deal. At least enough. you don't have to watch fucking like Pretty Little Liars or some shit. <clears throat> yeah. yeah well, so uh, I've that'll got be next. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven. I got five, six, seven, eight. Are there eight of them? Eight. Yep, mm. yep, so four movies so to I go. So those eight left, um, and then once they're done, I reckon, once she finishes Fast and Furious, I reckon I'm going to get to watch Bill and Ted, so then when the oh, new yeah. one comes out... That's right, yeah, yeah, we got to fucking see that. Hell yeah. That way. Yeah. Uh, so, we're doing a post-Bill and Ted podcast. Seems like we it. see it. I reckon. That's a good idea, the Bill and Ted special. Yep. Fuck yeah, man. We have to come so, dressed as characters from dressed it and as- everything. Fuck yeah, man. Let's, yeah, let's man. cosplay it up. Hell yeah, oh, man. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But so, I don't know if we... Did we really touch much on what you thought of the Harry Potter movies? I think we, with Joel, we were kind of just like, yeah, you watch Harry Potter. Okay, good on you. You're up to speed. What What did you think of them in so, general? So, where I'm up to, the first two, in my opinion, are shit. They're so childish and so... Mm. So, Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. Yep. In my opinion, I thought were really shit. Because they're just aimed at such a young demographic. Mm. Well, it's interesting with that because they're growing up and they start as kind of yeah. child-friendly. Then all of a sudden, then they get really mm. dark and violent. Yep. Yeah. And then we get to the yeah. third one, which is Prisoner of Azkaban. Yep. Oh, that's my favourite. And it starts mm, to get yeah, darker. So I'm like, yeah. now I'm enjoying these. These are getting good. And mm. then um, Gobbler of Fire... It's like you see, um, like the first major on-screen like brutal death. Yeah, yeah. And I'm right. like, this is starting to get good now because it's starting mm. to get dark and actually yeah. appealing to older Getting people. Pretty but fucked. I think that's yeah, exactly. Mm, I think mm. the reason I hated the first two was based off I've aged out of that demographic mm. where they're like yeah. appeal to. Well, me. see that that's the thing. I think I I saw the f- the first two when I was like when I was about seven. 
Mm. And then I, and, and at that age, I was like, oh, this is a bit creepy, a little bit spooky, you know, because it says PG, scenes may frighten young children. And mm. so that, I thought that was, oh, that was spicy. And then it, and then I watched the third one, and then I'm like, holy fuck, and then I just kept having nightmares about that werewolf for like a week. But, yeah, I think out of all of them, Prisoner of Azkaban was always the one that, that impressed me. I think it, then I, I mean, I shouldn't say too much to then deter you from watching the rest, but I think five and six were probably my least favorite because they kind I've of... I've been just... told five and six are shit, and they were yeah. also shit books. I don't read, but I've heard they were shit books too. <laughs> oh, um, look, when, I, when, I, when I read the books, the I, only got, I only got halfway through the fourth book. And then I just gave up. I thought, you know what? I can't. I can't keep reading these. And that was just after I had bought uh, the Half Blood Prince. I thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll read that once I get up to it. But I just, just never did. You know. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Yeah. No, I think uh, what they do um, is, you know, the the the, the movies go, go from about ten years. Like they they go for about ten years. So the demographic yeah, like grows up with the movies. Two thousand eleven. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And like you know, you know. matures, of course, which I think is a great <clears throat> thing that they do with those movies. Hmm. Yeah, and that so, was yeah, definitely I like something it. I think J.K. Rowling had in mind. It was the fact that okay, well, they are growing up. And certain more things are gonna are gonna come out and unravel. Yeah. So, uh, Philosopher's Stone came out in two thousand and one. No, okay. Uh, it's Deathly Hallows Part Two, isn't it? Is the final one? Yep. Yes. Uh, that came out in two thousand and eleven, so it was over um, a ten year period. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go. that's pretty smart. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. There you go. Spicy. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to say? Um, my dad put fifty liters of uh, unleaded petrol into a hold in Colorado that takes diesel. Ooh. Jeez. So that was uh, that was an interesting morning, and that's only the mm. second time that's happened. The first time my mum did it, like shortly after we bought the Colorado, but she only put like a few drops and went, "Oh shit." You know, but still had to get towed away and everything. Mm. But this time, my dad goes there. Sticks it in, fifty liters later goes. Oh, that price looks a bit interesting. That that's that's not what I expected. And goes in there and they say, well, that's because you put unleaded in it. He goes, oh shit. shit. And, then, and the thing is, our Colorado actually isn't with our ACV yet, so we had to call up, become a member, oh. and then get the truck out and pick it up. And, oh, jeez. Fucking hell, man. You know, I thought, but for fuck's sake, what? Like, mm. why are we driving in a vehicle that takes diesel anyway? Like, what are we driving, a fucking truck? Like, they shouldn't... Mm. Like, the, the fact that, that you know... Because only trucks take those fucking things. You know, uh, and here we are with... Diesel well, pricing should. doesn't fluctuate as much. So that's why a lot of people go for diesel engines. And it's also um better fuel economy. So that's why a lot of tradies you see drive diesel. Diesel, um, yeah. Yeah. Price doesn't fluctuate as much, and that's why uh, big trucks and stuff run on it because the fuel economy compared to uh, your unleaded, unless yeah, you're putting right. in top of the line unleaded, you're more or less going to get more bang for buck with diesel. Mm. Because oh. the, the the problem mm. we find is if ever we're going to fill it up, we're stuck behind a row of trucks. It's like, oh, yeah, well, we're course. not driving a fucking truck. We're, we're just, you know, <laughs> it mm. functions like a regular car. Okay, it's got four wheel drive. That's great. Other videos recording, yours. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. We just love fucking Zoom. It gives us 40 minutes to get as much off our chest as we can. And I love uh, it. Yeah, it's very spicy. Um, so, yeah, I reckon we'll probably end it there. Woo! You reckon? Thank you very much for coming on the show today, Billy. It was nice right, of thank you, you to, for having to me. take on the challenge at last minute, last notice. So that was good. Ah, uh, it's all right. Uh, you know, and if I'm good enough, uh, Joel, watch yourself because like you could be out of a job soon. Ha ha ha! Nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Just this one slip. I'm, I'm no. not doing this shit. Just no, <laughs> one, one time, Joel. One time. <laughs> Jeez, man. Well, it's like what 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 do they say? Um. That old saying of you know you can uh, you can build the Sistine Chapel, you can find a cure for cancer, but if you fuck a goat, you're a goat fucker. <laughs> yes, and, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave you there with that thought. I'm gonna go hit the fucking world gym. 
Take it easy, Billy. What see you, Zaino. Fuck was that? All right. See, see you later. On next Tuesday. Catch you no, 40th episode nice. next week. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 Fucking goat fucker. Yeah. Hello, viewers of the Skeptic and the Dude podcast. I am here to let you know that if you don't subscribe slash follow, you ain't getting to heaven. Peace out.